They say time is money. So here's six bottles I think are absolutely worth your time to go out and hunt down. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Hutch, and thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So, in the whiskey tube community in general, and on this channel specifically at The Bourbon Hutch, we often talk about bottles in terms of their monetary value, whether or not they're worth MSRP, whether or not they're worth marked up prices, what we'd be willing to pay for certain bottles, you know, at the highest limit. I think that's all super helpful for you guys, or I hope it is. But an aspect we often overlook or don't talk about is the extra time and effort that go into hunting down a lot of those bottles. So I wanted to put together a list of whiskeys I think are always worth the extra time and effort and was able to come up with six. Hopefully this helps you in your whiskey journey knowing what to really go after and to put down on your list for bottles to hunt next. As a preface to this list, everything on this list sort of falls into a category of relatively findable. None of these are ultra unicorns because my collection doesn't really have many of those, if any at all, but these do require a little extra effort. All right, let's dive in. Bottle number one is just fantastic whiskey that is kind of seasonally available around me and might be somewhat available around you, and that is Knob Creek 12. So 100 proof 12 year old whiskey, it is phenomenal. Vanillas, peanut butter, raisin, oak, really, really classic and great flavors. For me, this one shows up kind of seasonally around me, so I'm always tracking sort of the rhythm around it. It might be somewhat difficult to find in your area. Some areas, there's a lot of it, but basically, no matter where you live, I think this is a bottle that's always worth keeping an eye out for, especially when you're traveling or if you have connections with friends who can maybe hook you up. This is a bottle worth a little bit of extra effort to go out and get. All right, so bottles number two and three on this list are actually sort of brothers in this whiskey hunting journey and go together. So we've got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Larceny Barrel Proof. These are tri-annual releases from Heaven Hill, so they'll be coming out three times a year. Every year there's always an A, B, and C batch, supposed to be released in January, May, and September though that may vary a lot depending where you are. Some can arrive very late. But in my opinion, in terms of relatively findable, with three releases of each of these each year, that's six chances to get one of these, I think you'll have a decent chance of seeing them. And I think it's always worth that extra effort to kind of drive to a couple different stores, and especially track the rhythm around your area of when these start hitting shelves so you can put in a little bit more time, stop in different places around those times of year. Next on the list is another relatively findable limited bottle, depending on where you live, but I think it's always worth the pickup, and that is Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series Limited Releases. So this is Maker's Mark BEP, which is supposed to be the final release in their first chapter. Who knows what chapter two has in store for us, but I am excited and looking forward to seeing what they do next. Really cool to try to collect all of these. They're available for around 60 to 70 bucks. They've been highlighting different aspects of their whiskey making process. So this highlights their lower barrel entry proof. Really nice to have the full set. I've got a decent number of these because they're not super hard to find around me. They may be pretty difficult to find in certain areas. So I know that they're not always the easiest to find, but it's another one just like the Knob Creek 12 where if you're traveling, I keep an eye out for it. If you've got friends who can get this more easily, definitely keep an eye out for it. And also note that there is a special uh, Maker's Mark program where they can ship these to certain states. So I'd keep an eye out for whether or not your state is available for that and maybe sign up in advance so that you can make sure you get your hands on these. The next bottle on the list is actually the only non-bourbon on the list. It also has a brother that is a bourbon though, and I've heard great things about both, and that is Redwood Empire Rocket Top Rye. So basically they're bottled and bond releases. They've also got the Grizzly Beast Bourbon. I have found this to be a really, really unique and sweet rye with great candy flavors. Available for around 80 bucks. This is just batch two, so they're still new to the game of limited releases. But for me, driving around, doing a little extra hunting, making sure I get to the right stores to see if I can find this, this is gonna be one that's on my radar now that I have this and really, really enjoy it. And in fact, I'd 
recommend this over and above the Lost Monarch cast strength that I have. So that tells you this is really good whiskey and worth the hunt. Last but not least on this list is a bottle from the distillery that we all know and love as incredibly hard to find everything from them, Buffalo Trace. My number one pick from them to go out and hunt is E.H. Taylor Small Batch. For me, uh, I'd take this over Eagle Rare, I'd take it over Blanton's. I mean, Buffalo Trace itself, the bourbon, and Weller Special Reserve might be a little bit easier to find. Eagle Rare is arguably easier to find, but I think E.H. Taylor is one that is worth the extra hunt, worth the extra effort in terms of completing a great collection. It's a great, great one to add to your shelves and just really, really solid whiskey from Buffalo Trace. All right, everybody, that's my list. Six whiskeys I think are worth the extra effort to try to go out and hunt. All of these are on the spectrum of somewhat findable for most people in most areas. They will require a little bit of hunting though. So let me know how I did in the comments below. Is there anything that you would add to the list in terms of bottles you think are always worth the extra effort to go out and get? While you're at it, hit that like button. Would love to also have you subscribe if you haven't already and join us for the whole journey through 2023 and beyond. Till I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey and cheers.